Hello everyone. In this step of the program, I'm going to show you how to change the fonts and the colors in your uh, starter site. Uh, depending on which step one you used, your starter site might look a little different. That's okay. Um, you will still be able to follow the step to change your fonts and your colors. So go ahead, go to your dashboard, go to Appearance, Customize, and you'll see the Astra theme. This is where you change a lot of the Astra settings. Here's the typography here, base typography. For the body and content, it is currently set to Roboto Slab on this starter site. So if you change that, you'll see that the paragraph font changes automatically. This is the heading font. This one didn't change because you, you didn't change that. So now you get the idea of how to change the paragraph font. And going further down, you'll see the heading font is set to cond. If you were to change that, it'll change all of your headings. So this is the easiest way to change your heading and your paragraph font. One more note having to do with the uh, current trends and stylings. Um, a lot of times these days they are pairing sans serif fonts with serif fonts in the paragraph. So if this one has like uh, serifs in it, then the other one will not. So you'll see right here, this one has the little squigglies on the end of each letter. That's a serif font. And then the heading one does not have that. I'm going to go ahead and keep their design choice because I have a difficult time uh, beating what they put together so I just go ahead and use the one that they recommend but it's totally up to you if you want to change it up then go for it a lot of times for a um, sort of vanilla business website the paragraph font may be something like um, open sans and that one uses uh, obviously no serifs on it, sans serif font. So then you would want a uh, heading font that uses one that does have that. Uh, and I'm not really sure, I don't have one off the top of my head, but um, that one's all right. I mean, you know what I mean by um, one that has serifs. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the one that they recommend. So I'm going to hit the X and not save my changes. All right, so that's the fonts. Now, in regards to colors, if you go back to the customizer, Appearance Customize, you will see that there are there's a choice here for colors and then base colors. Right here, theme color and link color, you can change those. And you see this link color here? That's where this is pulling from. So you want that to be part of your theme's colors. And then you change the theme color here. And a lot of times, if like a plugin, like the form plugin that we used, Contact Form 7, it will choose the button color from this theme color. Or actually, if you go back, and go to buttons. Here's where the the button background color is. So you would actually choose that separate. So if you are implementing like a form and it and the button is is like green and you can't get it to change cuz it's not an elementor, you might want to come here and change the button color here. So uh, so make sure you change those colors for your theme for your base colors. But I'm going to show you how to change it in Elementor and that way you can change it on your pages really easily. So if you go to one of your pages and it doesn't matter which one, I'll go to the home page, edit with Elementor and you'll see up here at the top we have right here color picker now this right here is are the colors that you want for your theme. You need to take these colors, like let's say you wanted a, a different green here. You go ahead and pick a different one. 
OK, apply. See how I changed this one? And so you set these right here in the color picker so that anytime you need this color, you can easily select it. So you'll see right here, this is a background blue color. Let's go ahead and edit section. Style. Here's the color. I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to go back to my color picker because I want this blue color in my palette. I'm not going to use this one. So now I'm going to paste it in there in, in place of it. All right, so now we're in business. Anytime I need this color, say I'm working along on this page and I, uh, let me go down a little bit, and I want to edit section and I want to make the background blue. I just click the color and what do you know? Here are my colors that I set in the color picker. So now it's very easy to use those and you can easily make changes and add the colors that you need. So if you need this title to be your blue, just click style, text color, and then here are the colors from your color picker. So you select the one you need and it's a lot easier. So set these and save yourself a lot of trouble. I'm going to go ahead and set that to uh, I guess it wants. All right, so now we're back to good. All right, um, that's it for pretty much uh, the typography and color step. Um, for more steps, it's step-by-step, wp.com slash program. Thanks.